Welcome. Welcome back to a new episode of my ASMR series, the ASMR alphabet. Now with the topic of G. G for gratitude. My name is ASMR Katz and I have my headphones in because this is a high quality recording. I can recommend you to do the same to get the fullest out of this experience. Feel free to follow, subscribe and click on the notification bell and <laughs> see all the other videos I have waiting for you. So let us start with gratitude. The full ASMR alphabet episode got transformed into emotions. I started a little bit with an open and kind of thought, but now I stuck to the different emotions we feel. And today it is gratitude. I am super happy to celebrate gratitude. I am unbelievably grateful for the life I am able to live and I hope that you also practice gratitude and let it in your life. Maybe you like to write in the comments what you are especially grateful about. Let me tell you a little bit more about my personal path of gratitude. First of all, I have to say that I'm so grateful. I will play with gratitude and grateful. It's kind of similar. <laughs> that I'm from the universe sent into a world where I live in a first world country. This thought I not always had in my mind. This gratitude came when I was the first time in my life in a third world country. And I was seeing how they live there. And believe me, for sure, also there they make their life to the most amazing they can. But here in Germany, in Switzerland, Austria, we are living in such a rich environment. We have a system that has health care and it's a good health care system. When you don't have a job, 
you still have the opportunity to find one and get help. And even in the matter of time where you search for one, you get actually money from the government to overcome or to can live still. You even get an apartment from the government in the course of finding a job and make a living. This is something so precious. And most of all, I am also very thankful for the nature here around. We don't have everywhere trash. Everything gets kind of cleaned. And um, for sure in big cities it's a little bit different than on the countryside, but we have a beautiful countryside. And I'm very grateful of your gratitude for that too. Since I now live in the South, my gratitude also goes to the food I can eat every day because it has a very good quality here around. Or the vegetables and fruits. Even at my place, here all around grows apple trees, plum trees, we have cherries, cherry trees strawberry and a lot of other berries grow here and it's just a very rich environment what is awesome and I'm so grateful for I am full of gratitude even for the bad experiences I made in my life. In my point of view, they always brought me forward to the point where I can grow on myself and feel way more gratitude and even so they was painful or hurtful when I look now back I know they are way less painful than other experiences other living creatures on this animal have to face and therefore I feel gratitude. I am also happy that I was able to meet people in my life and had friends around me and still have who are there and who enjoy spending time with me and that I now sit here in this nice area speaking with you share my thoughts with you I feel a lot of gratitude because some have no time at all to do this or some are not able to invest what they have to have all this gear around them I feel gratitude in a very intense way when I make experiences 
who show me the true amazing emotions I can feel. I am very happy that I don't feel numb or just tired or sad and just helpless. I am happy that my body and my mind work so good together and I am full of gratitude for that, that I'm healthy, that I'm able to live in a first world country, healthy from head to toe, and can do what I'm able to do. And this gratitude is such a valuable thing where I really, really enjoy to hold on and to thank the universe every day. that I came out at this corner of life. It is so important to let gratitude into your heart because when you're even grateful for small things, like I said, the food you have on your table every day, then you also feel more bounded within yourself. Let me tell you a little story. I was once in Laos. It's in Asia. And I was not traveling far before, so it was kind of the beginning of seeing places in the world, other places in the world more far away. And before I always had this funny connection to food, it was just protein coming into my body, carbohydrates coming in my body, vitamins coming in my body. It was just like all the puzzle pieces I needed to sustain myself. Don't get me wrong, I always eat. (laughs) But it was nothing special for me. It was not an important thing where I was grateful for. Because you have it every day. It's easy to get. So I was in Laos. And most of the time when I traveled only on the countryside where no tourists are around anymore. So we were at this place because we drove with the bus to another big city in Laos from one part to the other part. And the bus stops at this bus station. And at this bus station, it was stopping because you could buy their soup. Because in Laos, on the street, they sell sometimes stuff and then you can eat something there, go back in the bus bus and drive further. So I was in Laos. <laughs> at this bus stop and we eat this soup and then we decided to just stay there because it was in the middle of nowhere and it was nice and they had a few rooms where we was able to spend time so we not continued our bus drive And then was at this nice little place where the tourists 
always came and go when a bus stopped there. And we started to explore the area around. It is so nice always to see the nature as well and to explore the little village we are in. And we was walking around and got a little bit lost and was finding ourselves back in the middle of a field. And I saw there's some farmers working and they had this long wood, just a piece of wood. And on the wood, they had little cans, like for red bean, like just a can. And they made the wood together with the can. And then they had this one long stick with wood and some cans on there prepared that they hold on the stick of wood. And I was like, what's going on here? What they do? And the farmer was walking straight in front of us and we followed him. <laughs> and we followed him for such a long while until there was a little river floating he put the stick with the cans in the water and filled up the cans with water. And then he was going all the long way back to the field where he was coming from and put the cans filled with water over the plants by hand. And then it was so clear for me that this is the job. Every day they don't have a system where they can water the plants other than with their bare hands, old cans on a stick of wood. They had no agriculture, nothing. Everything they did, they did by hand. And in that moment, I was so overwhelmed because I was not new that something like this still exist but the people in Laos they don't have what we have here in Europe for example in Germany and Switzerland and Austria then we came onto a market and in the market there was sitting the farmer and selling what they <laughs> planted, what they repeated every day, bringing the water in the can, on the wood stick, from the river to the field, going back, making it with the next plant. And they sell their vegetables and everything. on the market and then I see the owner of our room who made the soup buying from the farmers everything what he needs to make this soup and I never ever saw food the same way again and this evening we was going back to our room, eating from this soup. 
knowing that this soup is made from the vegetables from the farmer all by hand day by day and I felt the deepest gratitude in my full life about the food we have on our table daily. When we would not have stopped there, maybe I would not be at that point telling this little story and feeling this way. But believe me, I am so filled with gratitude that we stopped there, that we was going there for the walk, that I was seeing this, And no, only because we have our food daily on our table, go in the supermarket, get it. There was someone working so hard for it to make it grow and tasting so delicious. And for sure, where I live, it is maybe a bit more easier But it's still a lot of work. And alas, it was the most amazing experience I've made in that journey. And it showed me again how far we are away in our civilization to actually see by our own eyes how things are made, how products we use are made. We just take it for granted and it should get filled more with gratitude. And believe me or not, but... Since then, I was even going more hippie style. Because when I walk through the supermarket, I just see this farmer with his can filled with water, walking to the river and back to let the food I see so delicious laying in the supermarket grow. And I can't stop to feel the gratitude I have that someone else make the effort that we can live eat be happy, healthy and eating the food we get every day and this Gratitude was one of the most intense emotions I ever felt. And now when I am somewhere and someone cook for me, making the effort, I'm super grateful. And filled with gratitude. For the daily food I get. And believe me, I never ever ate such an amazing soup like a louse. It was just the best soup I've ever had with all the fresh herbs, vegetables cooked with so much love, so much gratitude. It just tastes good, even better. And then I also (laughs) was reading a lot of different cooks around the world and they have the best food where the farmers grow everything by the best way possible with the best earth, the best water and the most of gratitude. (laughs) 
And I think also when you cook with this gratitude, it just tastes better. And even so, for negative experiences you made, you may don't feel that in the moment they happen, but at some point you can look back and maybe see everything more with a way of gratitude because it brought you further and you could learn from it. And it's very hard to say, you know, I totally understand that. But for me, it helped me to let go and to enjoy and to be able to see the smaller things, like when I was in Laos and had this amazing journey of food. <laughs> and I think when I would still be so much poisoned with other things than gratitude, I was not be able to see that and to see the gratitude I have. <laughs> it's amazing how ASMR works. It works also on me. I'm always getting so tired when I speak. <laughs> it's not that I not can concentrate, but it is just so relaxing. <laughs> I'm very grateful for this ability to relax through Arthur too. <laughs> There's so much where you can be grateful about. And I think when you let this more and more inside of your mind, heart, body, stomach, you will be more peaceful within yourself and not see so much negative things just. But this is from someone like me getting spoiled from the universe already the full life. Maybe spoiled is also not the right word, but still, I see it that way. Because it's very simple when you break everything down. It is awesome for me how it turned out till yet. I don't know what the future will bring, but... I know my place on this planet and I'm filled with gratitude to be at this place on this planet. And I know that most of all of this is something the universe brought to me only because I was growing up where I was growing up. And then, when I see these farmers and I see how much effort they need to put into growing the plants, then I just feel so, so, so small and tiny as a part in this world. And that we are a species who is able to survive because others work. Like, for example, I have no glue. I have no green thumb. I have no idea how to let plants grow, how to make <laughs> it possible to sustain myself. So I am so 
so grateful that others take over this part and I just can sustain from others' knowledge of keeping me alive because without food and without water I couldn't live but I get food and water that I can live my life on this planet and it's so simple and I not can be anything else than super grateful and filled with gratitude so sometimes When you are overwhelmed, sad, dog outside. Overwhelmed, sad, unhappy. Then write down what you are grateful for, and you will find for sure the way to your happiness. Doggy dogs going crazy. So yeah, this is it for now. From my ASMR alphabet with the letter G for gratitude. My name is ASMR Cut, and if you like this little episode here, make sure to follow, subscribe, click on the notification bell. And tell it everyone that I'm here speaking with you. <laughs> and maybe someone more like and join. <laughs> it would be awesome. I am filled with gratitude that you are on my side. Thank you so much for listening. And no matter where you are right now, have a good time. Sleep well, have a nice day, whatever. And don't forget to be filled with gratitude too.